New information from the I-Team tonight about the dog involved in a recent attack in the encampment where that dog was apparently living. We now know the dog had a history with ACS and has been since deemed dangerous. Jordan Elder with the News 4 I-Team has been following this story now for weeks. She joins us with where that dog is right now and what the city plans to do about these encampments. We're a place that I used to feel very safe. I don't feel safe anymore. Elizabeth Daniel and her dog Torin are returning to the Leon Creek Greenway for the first time since they were attacked two weeks ago. I don't want to take that chance of it happening again. It was very scary. Bit by a dog that was under the care of a homeless person allegedly living at an encampment near the trail. It hurts that nobody cares and if they cared more this wouldn't have even happened because this has been an issue for years now. This didn't happen overnight. The city tells us they've cleaned up an encampment at Oscar Perez Park, but some of the people walking here tell us there are several others. We're out walking part of this trail today to see if we see any. This greenway is massive, so here's a map of where we focused. The main areas were clear, but near the Petranco Road Trailhead, we did find this large encampment just a little ways out from the main trail. You see shopping carts, storage containers, bikes. There was also a man sleeping in a tent. There's at least two major encampments that are down here. A really, really big one that's been there for years. San Antonio's Solid Waste Department tells me they've cleared five locations throughout the Greenway so far this year, considered one-time cleanups. But encampments are mobile by nature. They could always pop up again. The Parks and Recreation Department also handles some smaller cleanups if needed. Daniels tells us she wants the city to check on these trails more often, and she does not want the dog that attacked her to be released. It's a dangerous animal. And, and I'm supposed to just trust that, oh, well, you know, the dog got out once, but we're making sure it's not going to happen again. ACS officials tell me, quote, this dog bite was preventable and someone was hurt because an irresponsible person was not in control of the dog in their care. We've learned that Chacho has been deemed dangerous, which triggers state requirements. He's in ACS care now, but if the family that previously owned him comes into compliance, they could regain custody. And Daniel says that puts like, everyone at risk. It is our rights as citizens to know what's around us and what's in our environment. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder.